Me, there's a rumor going around I once looked like that. <laughs> so we've got 10 great finalists for Last Gadget Standing. Uh, you're, we're going to be amazed by these products. They really run the gamut, but they're the ultimate in tech. And we're going to kick things off. We're going to introduce the judge, one of the judges, who will then introduce the person presenting the prop. And the first one, well, I think we're starting off with a very interesting product, to say the least. Not something you're going to see every day. Uh, let's bring up David Berlin, who's going to talk about e-bikes. So, big hand for David. Thanks, guys. So, uh, for those of you who are avid cyclists like I am, uh, you know that the biking industry is often a no-compromise business, always in search of that perfect blend of uh, art and function. If you, in, if you ignore industrial design in your bike, you will be dead on arrival in the marketplace compared to those bikes where the designers agonize over the placement of every nut and the beauty in every well. It not only has to ride great, but it has to look better. In my former career as a bike racer, and that's true, I used to race bikes, I lost quite a few races, but I'll be damned if I didn't look beautiful doing it. <laughs> it won't be the first electric bike, it's not the first electric bike, and it won't, certainly won't be the last, but with its electronics cleverly concealed in its seat post and reaching speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, the eFlow Nitro represents the current day pinnacle in that blend of art and function. Additionally, sorry, <laughs> folks, this just in, the U.S. Anti-Doping Association has discovered an early prototype of eFlow technology in the bike that Lance Armstrong used to win the Tour de France. <laughs> it's kind of like a CIA love quadrangle, just never, just keeps getting worse. So, without further ado, well, I guess we don't have the bike here, or do we? I'm sorry, the bike has just arrived, and here it comes, here comes Rob Kaplan with Curry Technologies on the eFlow Nitro Electric Bike. <laughs> Rob, the floor is yours. Thanks, Dave. Congratulations. Where's the floor? So thank you. There's a, a lot of really cool products uh, being shown here today and at the show. I'm here to talk about the one that might actually change the way you move. So urbanization is changing our country's transportation needs. Did anyone sit in traffic lately? <laughs> Two-wheel electric transport is the future. Bicycle infrastructure build-out is sweeping our country. And whether you're young or old, <coughs> power assist bikes are fun and efficient. And the eFlow Nitro is the answer to urban mobility in the 21st century. <coughs> the eFlow Nitro is the perfect fusion of design and engineering with performance and function. Swiss design, engineered and commercialized in America by Curry Technologies, the eFlow Nitro is unlike any electric bike on the market today. The eFlow was the first and only electric bike to receive the prestigious gold medal award from the International Design Forum. It's clean, not just another e-bike. Every aspect is designed to avoid the clutter usually associated with electric bikes. The award-winning design makes it cool. The performance specifications will make you want to ride it all the time. And every detail has been chosen so that the eFlow can make you the rider that you want to be. A 500 watt hub motor, a Samsung high capacity lithium battery pack, hydraulic brakes with regenerative braking, and intelligent electronics that allow the rider to choose between power on demand or torque sensing pedal assist. The eFlow Nitro establishes a new class of electric bikes for North America. It's street legal under US federal law. It's a bicycle. It's fast and efficient with a top speed of 20 miles an hour, that's 32 for anybody who's from Europe, and it'll go 35 miles per charge. 
It's clean aerodynamic lines, integrated electronics, liquid crystal display, and a 20-speed drive system so that the rider always has the right gear.